Hello everyone, welcome to Tech World with MJ. This is Muradi. Today I will explain one of the very, uh, I mean, useful development model called Power Platform. Okay, which is provided by Microsoft. So I will explain everything related to that. So a Power Platform is, uh, I mean, collective application of .NET, uh, I mean, Microsoft 365. So under the Power Platform, we will have different things uh, which is basically support the low code no code that means either uh, there is no any code to develop any application or uh, if there will be a more complex logic then it may be possible that a very less amount of code will be there that's why it is called low code and no code platform so now first of all we need to know about which types of development tools is uh, available under the power platform so we have the power app Another is Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent, Power Pages, and Power BI. So Power v, uh, Pages is introduced. Uh, I mean, after uh, these four. So, so this is. So I will explain one by one. Talk about Power Apps. So it is. Uh, I mean, we can use these particular tools for develop the web and mobile application developments. But uh, the one point you need to keep consider is. So basically this type of application is currently only used for the organization base i mean this is a backend application not a uh, user facing applications okay so uh, under the power apps i will explain uh, something more about the power apps in another video so if i will say briefly about that so under the power apps we will have uh, three types of uh, uh, i mean development processor so first is uh, canvas application we can use the canvas application to develop uh, a, a applica mobile or tablet application we will have the model driven app we will have the portal application under the power apps now we'll go on the power automate so power automate is nothing but a process of automation uh, that i mean for any exam any task which is going on day by day uh, with the same activity same process so that process we can uh, i mean automate using the power automate power virtual agent so power virtual agent basically you have seen on different sites we have a automated chat board so once you will click on that particular website i mean open that particular website then you will have a chat board in your left or right corners and the, uh, they will ask you some question like uh, how can i help you so this type of uh, application automated chat bo uh, chat board will be created using power virtual agents okay Another one is Power Pages. So, for building the secure and data centric business website. So, basically, this is the website. Uh, this is the tools by which we can develop a user phishing web application as well. So, but in Power Apps, uh, you cannot create, uh, you will create an organizational based application like uh, HR processing, like the finance and internal management, IT operations. This type of internal application you can develop using Power Apps. Another, uh, the last one is Power BI. So Power BI basically are strong tools uh, by which you can develop uh, reporting tools on any applications, okay? So it is also very useful. Here you can see something else. Uh, I mean, this is a, also the important part which is basically used with this type of tools. So here is a data connector. So if you will talk about Power Apps, so inside of Power Apps, we will have, I mean, currently more than 300 data connectors are available. So uh, when I'm saying data connectors, so it is like, uh, uh, I mean, uh, you can connect uh, the Power Apps with the different data sources like uh, SQL, Microsoft, I mean, Microsoft Access, Excel. Uh, you can connect with MongoDB. You can connect with some other data sources, okay? So more than 300 uh, data source connection uh, is available currently on the Power Apps functionality. Another one is AI Builders. So uh, basically uh, using the Power Virtual Agent, we can create the AI Builders, okay? And Data Wars. So Microsoft Dataverse is a very important part when you will, you will develop the application using Power Platform. So this is a, this is called the center, CDS, Centralized Data Service. Okay. So in, in any case, if uh, you will chance to develop an application using model-driven application, model-driven app under the Power application, then you will use that Microsoft Dataverse. And here is a managed environment and a Power FX. So these all are, I mean, very brief, uh, 
details about the Microsoft Power Platforms and using this, which types of application you can create. Further, I will create, uh, I will create a videos related uh, using Power Apps, which types of application you can create, in which uh, scenario you can use the Power Automate, uh, in which scenario you can use the Power Virtual Agent and Power BI. So I will create a specific video on that. So it is, I mean, uh, combined information about Power Platform. Thank you. If you feel this video looks helpful to you, then please uh, subscribe our channel and please do not forget to hit the like uh, and uh, um, bell icon for the future updates regarding that. Thank you. Thank you for staying with us.